Welcome. In front of me is a Nokia 1.3 and today I'll show you how to go to the setup of the device. And when you put it up for the first time, you will be presented with the welcoming screen as you can see right here. So starting off, you want to change probably the language to your desired language, which for me starts off with Polish. So I can either tap right here, which by default would change it to English or by tapping on a drop down and finding it from the list. So let's see like here. And from there, let's tap on let's go. Then we have a page for uh, the mobile network, which will uh, just ask you to answer the SIM card. Let's skip this, it doesn't really matter. We can connect to Wi-Fi or completely skip it if you want to. As you can see, there's the Wi-Fi connection. And again, uh, we can skip this if, you, if we don't want to connect. Uh, by skipping the Wi-Fi here, uh, throughout the setup, we'll also lose the ability to, for instance, get our time and date set automatically and also the ability to connect to Google account throughout the setup. But both of those can be done later on after the setup is complete by going into the settings. So we don't really lose anything overall. So let's skip it. And as I said, uh, date and time. So here I would have to set it manually, but if I were connected to Wi-Fi, it would have been set automatically and the step would have been skipped. Then we have Google. Services, so we have Google uh, services like uh, location scanning and send user and diagnostic data. Now briefly touching upon all, or all three of them, location uh, uses your GPS tracking to basically gain or give apps uh, the knowledge where you are located. So apps, for instance, like Google Maps can give you an accurate uh, route, uh, route to your destination. Now there's also scanning, which allows apps to scan for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth devices around you and then send user and diagnostic data. Uh, it seems a little bit self-explanatory. Google gathers data on how you use the device and basically what you do and sends it to itself, basically. Now, if you don't like these options, you can simply disable them. Uh, they can still be enabled later on uh, through the notification panel uh, in terms of, for instance, like location uh, or by going to the settings. So I'm gonna now see it further. And here we have uh, protection to our device. So right here it wants us to set up a face ID basically. You can skip it or press next. Now if you choose to go next, uh, here we can set up something else apart from face ID because we need another way of unlocking the device that be a pen pattern or password before we are able to set up a face unlock. So by default it goes into a four digit pin but we can also uh, tap on it and the blue text right there to change the screen lock and change it to either also pattern or password. I'm gonna go with the pattern. So from here, let's draw the pattern. Tap next, we draw the same pattern to confirm it. And it's now completely set. And now it wants to gain access, or well, doesn't even want to gain access, it just accesses the camera. So if you don't wanna add face to it, you can simply go back and skip it. Now this will keep the pattern that we have chosen, but just not set up a face uh, unlock. Uh, we are nearly ready to go. Okay, so we have, by tapping let's go, uh, you agree to join the user experience program. So if you don't want it, tap on not now. And there we go, we are now finished with the setup. So. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.